Oshawa Car Assembly Plant to, to interview an environmental engineer. Basically, we're going to see how General Motors is adapting to uh, lean thinking and lean manufacturing. We're here at GM um, Oshawa Car Assembly Plant with an environmental engineer, Eric Schneider, who has graciously, uh, graciously offered his time to answer some questions for us. So, how does GM use lean thinking? Uh, GM is using lean thinking to help uh, manufacture as many cars as possible in an efficient and thorough manner. Uh, one of the ideas for lean thinking is to bring just in time parts to the plant. Give us an example of past production methods versus the ones that you're more adopting now. Past production method it would be an example of the way that uh, GM Canada used to make batteries here on site. Uh, there used to be a continuous production line and that ran around the clock and all the parts would be delivered to the line and they would continue to make uh, as many batteries of the one particular brand or size until they had met the uh, customer's order. Um, lean manufacturing uh, was adopted at the battery plant some time ago to make just enough batteries in a short amount of time with the minimum amount of workers but having all the equipment in one small area. The uh, production line at the battery plant uh, extended some 700 uh, feet on a continuous line versus the uh, lean cell was squished down to about 90 feet in total to do the same amount of work. So under a mass production cell you have uh, long production lines and multiple workstations trying to produce as many parts as possible in sh in, to meet the order or as the lean cell the idea is to shorten the delays between jobs, get get the uh, equipment into a small footprint so that one or one or two workers can do the same amount of work that a mass production line may have 20 or 30 workers do. Um, now GM's adopting the new flexible manufacturing. Um, lines, can you talk a little bit about how that's going to affect cutbacks in wait times, such as shutdowns? Flexible line is just going to be an a extension of what we do today. We currently have just-in-time deliveries to the line, and ju we just deliver the parts we need to make the car today, but we're sort of constrained on what car we can do today. The uh, flexible manufactured line is going to be uh, provide us with the, fl the flexibility to make uh, one car today and change over to another car tomorrow and then change back to the original car, be able to bring on new models a lot quicker and change over. Our current plant is uh, just about to go under uh, reconstruction to get into flexible manufacturing and take out the uh, conveyor lines and the, um, the mass production line that we have today that makes our product and uh, allow us with the flex line to quickly change from one model to another and meet customer needs and keep ahead of our competition. And in the long run, can you just quickly talk about some of the waste that it's going to save on, such as time, waste, as an environmental engineer, does that affect you? Um, yeah, the those, uh, the flexible manufacturing line will uh, cut down uh, some of the materials that have to be stored on site for long periods of time and should be able to shorten the amount of supply that we have on site at any one time, and such as a sealer drum that uh, may be only used for one product or on one piece of equipment that would sit idle until that product had to go through that line. The flexible manufacturing line should be able to adapt and utilize that, that same sealer on various models. So we're scheduled to make the Camaro and the Camaro convertible 
and hopefully get some more product after that so the flexible manufacturing line can make all these products without requiring major change orders or specialty equipment that can only be used for one product or the other. It's, it's supposed to be interchangeable and used uh, making the equipment more useful. Thank you.